Oh my god, I feel so shitty. This exercise remove your aggression. That's why I need like extra high dose of this vitamin. I made it a little easier for me. I like to use candles when I'm about to kill someone. Okay, a little disclaimer, I have polycystic ovary syndrome and that's why I'm freaking enjoying when I have period. That's why even if it's so horrible and so hard, I'm enjoying it so much. For me, when my period comes, it means that my body is super healthy and I'm just like celebrating with all my soul body all together. But you know, even if I am happy about having period, there are some days that not so happy for me. For example, today having this like mood swings, I woke up with like weird emotions i don't want to do anything i'm very grumpy very angry and i know that i should film the youtube video because next two days we're going on the trip and i will not have time for this so this is basically my only time that i can work and this freaking mood swings they just ruin in all my plans so for a lot of years dealing with this mood swings because of hormones i kind of created my system what should i do to make myself feel better and it's actually working look <laughs> i'm having mood swings today and i'm actually sitting and recording this video and i can even smile <laughs> if you will go online and will try to find how to deal with period feelings with like all this like symptoms that you get in feeling bad feeling cramps feeling like pain like a lot of different like things you will find this little advice where people will tell you to go and work out and i understand where is it coming from but jesus christ can you actually work out when you're on your period i can't because sometimes you barely want to get up from the bed and you probably would hate anybody who will mention workout for you so i kind of created my own system for this and what i'm doing i'm doing stretching so i feel like stretching is way more suitable for situations like this first of all you don't need to get up from your bed of course you can if you want but you don't need to stretching is really good stress relief especially we keep a lot of our stress in our shoulders so if you can stretch your shoulders and this like back area you're gonna feel so much relief and this is gonna give you even more stress relief than actually like heart exercising with heart exercising you can get tired and you can feel worse but stretching is really like good thing by the way everything that i'm talking about today that's the things that i actually was doing today in the morning before filming this video to make myself feel better and the second thing after stretching is breathing which you can also do in your bed can't say that normal usual breathing like deep breathing gonna help you but you should do one exercise that called dragon breathe so how does it work you take one finger and you close one nostril I guess that's how you call it, nostril, I think, I hope. You close and you start breathing really, really fast. Don't really breathe in, mostly you're focusing on breathing out, like this. Be careful because this thing can make you feel dizzy. If you start feeling a little bit dizzy, immediately stop this exercise. But what does it give to you? First of all, it's bringing all your energy up and you feel so much more energetic. And second, the most important for mood swings, this exercise remove your aggression. Really strong breathing out, it takes all your aggression that you have inside and it's just making it go away. I'm doing this exercise almost every day because it's helping with my energy every morning but with mood swings this is so effective and it's working so much i don't know how it works but drinking a lot of water also works for me really good and also eating a lot of fruits that's very watery like pineapple watermelon mandarins i actually noticed that more water you're drinking better your mood becoming not only when you have period but also in normal life too and since we started talking about fruits i I always making sure to eat healthy when I have period of course this is 
I think the worst part of the month when you want to eat everything that's bad for you. Whatever is bad for you, you want to put this inside yourself and this is really bad. I can't say that I'm not letting myself eat something bad because if I want Burger King, I'm gonna eat Burger King. You will not <laughs> stop me. Nobody will stop me. But most of the time I'm actually trying to ask myself why I'm doing this right now and if it's possible Possible, I'm trying to change things and eat more healthy things to help body. What is also working for me is very fat food like avocado or maybe some fat fish. I don't know, maybe it's subconsciously because I know that this type of good fat is good for female body parts. But actually when I'm eating avocado toast or maybe some salmon, I feel like I'm getting better. I think it's because it has a lot of omega-3 and omega-6 and this is actually helping in this process somehow and by the way about omega i'm also taking supplements how already said i have polycystic ovary syndrome and i kind of don't have period if my body is not super healthy that's why i'm eating a lot of supplements a lot of vitamins and this is not a recommendation i'm not recommending you this it's just my uh, way how i'm doing this i was buying all of this with prescription from my doctor so i'm actually doing this because i was checking my blood and i was checking what exactly do i need to take but i also feel like this supplements helping me a lot because what i need to take i need to take vitamin b that usually take control of your mood and if you actually have a lot of mood problems that that might be because you don't have enough of vitamin B and also vitamin D, especially if you live in the country where it's not so much sun, you need a lot of vitamin D. With my doctor, we found out that my body is not like collecting this vitamin d that's why i need like extra high dose of this vitamin that's why i'm taking like 10,000 units this is not good for people usually to take every day but for my body this is like normal dose vitamin d is actually also helping you feel better because this is kind of like sun i think you notice that you have better mood at sunny days so it's all because of vitamin d and since i'm taking all this like supplements like vitamin b vitamin vitamin D, also extra omega. I feel like this also helping with my mood. It helping my mood to be like more balanced. The next thing that I'm doing, if I feel that I have this like craziness in my mind, if I wake up and I know that, oh my God, I feel so shitty. I don't wanna do anything. I feel like I'm about to kill someone. I prefer to create this day like a day off. Maybe like move all things that I need to do for like next three days. Not making myself and not pushing myself to do extra things just because I know that it will make me more angry. If I will try to do something that I don't want to do, it's gonna be super aggressive. I'm probably gonna be angry with all people around me. I'm probably gonna be like very annoyed with every single things that's happening. Trying just to lay down, maybe watch some shows and just not touching anybody. But how already said, today I needed to film this video because I would not be able to do this after. So I made it a little easier easier for me. I was planning to film something about beauty and I realized that if I will start pushing myself right now to film something that I don't want to film right now, that's probably going to be a disaster. So I decided just to change the subject of this video and film something that I would do anyway. I would still do stretching, I would still eat avocado toast, I would still drink a lot of water. And why not just tell you how I'm dealing with this situation instead of pushing myself? It's so much easier. It's like if you can't make day off, at least make it as easy as possible. Like try to work from your bed, try to not get up, try to do as much breaks as possible. Because why torturing yourself if you know that it's not gonna give you great result and only make you like argue with people around. And the last thing, I always try to look good when I'm on my period because like 
every single little detail can make me cry, can make me be angry, can make me annoyed, can make me like feel horrible. And if I get up, let's say I decided to lay down all day and watch show. And if I get up just to get some water or maybe get some food or maybe go to toilet and I see myself in the mirror and I look horrible, this can make me cry for like, hour just like thinking that i'm not good enough bringing this like bad energy so i'm just trying to look good no matter what i'm doing even if i'm staying home and this is another stone on good energy side because when you have mood swings you want to put as much effort as possible to this like good energy side so it will kind of go like this if you understand what i mean because having mood swings it's not feeling bad it's feeling strong it's like exaggerating all your feelings the more effort you put to good energy side the more possible you will be happy all day because you will exaggerate like good feelings you will see how good you look in in the mirror and you will exaggerate this you will eat healthy good food you will feel good about this you will exaggerate this you will feel relaxed while you're doing like your stretching and your breathing and you will exaggerate this so basically what i'm trying to do while i'm having this like mood swings i'm trying to surround myself with good energy things candles too by the way candles relaxing me so much that's why i like to use candles when i'm about to kill someone you have no idea how many times i screamed and yelled while i was filming this video so i better just go <laughs> love yourself